friends, it's Amy. I'm in my living room and today I thought it'd be fun to share with you a very simple DIY using canvas prints. I ordered two of them from snapfish.com, did a little bit of embellishing to them and then hung them up behind me. I've been using Snapfish as my go-to online photo storage site since 2004. Needless to say, I absolutely love taking pictures. As you can see, I have nearly 48,000 stored here. It's fun to look back on these pictures and have a place online that keeps my memory safe that I've used for 12 years. Navigating the site is easy and intuitive. You can make fun photo projects with just a few clicks. For this canvas project, I chose the 11 by 14 canvas in a landscape orientation with a color wrap. Click on make this product and it'll prepare the project space bringing you to a screen where you can go ahead and click on Get Photos. For the canvases I ordered, I uploaded a selection from a photo shoot with Jamie Waters. She captured these awesome shots of Jack walking on the beach in Marina del Rey on a windy day. For this example, I'm going to simply choose this photo and click Add to Project. You can just drag and drop your image right in. Although I like the look of a photo wrap, I didn't want Jack's feet to be cut off. So I'm going into layouts and clicking on the little arrow, I'll choose color wrap. You can change the color of it if you'd like, then click review and buy. There are even framing options, but I like this as is, so I'll click add to cart and check out. I received these canvases less than a week later and was impressed with the quality. Though I had an idea of how I wanted to hang them, I also wanted to fill the white space with a crafty touch. Because I wanted to add a subtle quote on the sand, I took these American Crafts thickers called Thick and Thin. They are foam and have adhesive on them, making the letters easy to lift off just in case I mess up on placement, which is usually the case. If you like to be more precise, you could definitely use a ruler and set up guidelines using washi tape. Personally, I prefer just trying to eyeball it over spending time measuring. But definitely do what works for you. I love the flexibility and the bendability of these particular foam stickers. And now I've got the placement. I'm going to start using the last letter of the word and write justifying it on the second canvas. The reason I do this is because I know that I want it kind of flush and even with the right side more so than the left. So now I'll take this period and put it down right here and then of course it looks a little off to me so I decided to move the letters and it was easy to peel them off to adjust the placement. Once I was happy with it, it was time to figure out the best way to hang it in this spot. The canvases came with some brackets and hanging materials. I grabbed a hammer and centered the bracket on the back of the frame and gently tapped it in. Each canvas came with two, but my non-perfectionist tendencies decided to just use one right in the middle. As for placement on the wall, I took the canvases over and decided to use a pencil to mark approximately where I thought the lower canvas should go first. I grabbed the hook and nail that came with the kit and hammered it in. I didn't have a level handy, but if you're really concerned about them being perfectly straight, you may want to use one. So now I'm using the same technique by marking off on the wall with a pencil and hammering the hook in. Unfortunately, it looked off so I had to take out the nail and readjust my placement. Now I'm going to see if it works and it looks like it does. Right on! Well, it's done! I hope you feel inspired to get your photos off of your devices and up on your walls. Thank you so much to Snapfish for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Do you like this type of video where I take a project and incorporate it into my home? Some of you have been asking for home decor ideas and maybe even a house tour, so let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I need some zhuzhing. Hey buddy, you know what? 
I did a little project this morning. Yes. Do you see it? <laughs> Who is that? Jack. Where is Jack right here? At the beach. That's right. At the beach too. Yeah. I'm so glad you like it. You like it a lot? Mm -hmm.